Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. For those of you that are new to my channel, I post mommy and lifestyle videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss one of my videos. I am a stay-at-home mom and I'm currently pregnant with our second baby who is due in December. And our first is a little boy named Charlie who just turned two in June. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys Charlie's playroom. I just wanted to show you how I organize everything and um, what I have in there right now. He plays really well independently in there. I don't know if that's because of the setup or it's just his personality or whatever, but he'll play in there for like an hour or more just by himself. Um, of course, I go in there and play with him as well, and we have friends over and they play in there together. But yeah, um... I just wanted to share that with you guys. When we moved into this house last year, this was the room that I was most excited for to set up and um, just have for Charlie. I think it's been a really good thing for him. It The room that we made into the playroom is right off of the dining room and the living room. It's a pretty open concept house, but I can see him from really anywhere on the first level. So that's been really nice. Um, it's just, it's really nice to have this room and hopefully it's helpful for you guys if you're setting up your playroom or wanting to reorganize. So if you're interested in seeing Charlie's playroom, then just keep on watching. Okay, so when you first walk into the playroom, to the right over here, we just have a little reading nook for Charlie with some books. And then up here we have a little look what I did thing so that when we do arts and crafts, I can hang up. And the stuff that he made and I don't have anything up there right now but usually I have something up there and then over there we have a little puzzle that says Charles name and he loves that he'll like bring me the letters and tell me what the letters are so I'll try to link um, a similar like personalized puzzle down below and then over here we have Charlie's little like Thomas train and he got that for Christmas this past year, and he loves that thing. I thought that he would, like, get tired of it um, after having it for a while, but he still gets on that thing every day six months later, and I think that it was a great purchase. I would definitely recommend it if you're thinking about getting it. He was about 18 months when we got it, and I don't think that was too young. Um, I'm not sure what the recommended ages are, but I thought that was a pretty good age for him to have that. And then this like activity table, we actually got off of Facebook Marketplace, but I think it's the Melissa and Doug brand. I'll try to link a similar one below. I think they still make this one. Um, but yeah, it's reversible. The other side of the table is like a train, um, train board, I guess. And eventually I think we'll turn this into a train table. I just feel like he wouldn't... Um, get that much use out of it right now so we just kind of have it as a toy table and I switch out the toys that I have on here um, periodically like every month or so just to, like what he's interested in I'll put out here but yeah we have a few toys out there right now and then over in this corner we have the newest two additions to our playroom that little grill he got for his birthday in June and he loves that thing um, he has a kitchen at his grandparents house and he loves the kitchen but we didn't quite have enough room over here for like a full kitchen so we just did the little grill um, with some food that goes with it and that little toy house was actually my husband's sister's when she was little and She's letting us borrow it until she has babies, so he's been enjoying that as well. And then the decorations on the wall up here. Um, I think the prints, like the animal prints on the sides are from Etsy. And then I just got some cheap Walmart frames to put them in. They were like less than $10 each, but I thought they were cute, just like simple. And then the playroom rule sign I got from TJ Maxx. And I'm sure like Amazon or somewhere has a similar one. Um, but yeah, next is that little truck. He loves that truck. Oh my gosh, he could play in that all day long. If we like wheel him around the house, um, which we do like pretty much every day, he loves it. Or he'll just like sit in there and pretend like he's going places. And yeah, that's been a fun toy to have. 
And then over here, those decorations we got from, I think we got the letters from Amazon, like the play letters. And then the banner, I think, is also from Amazon. I'm going to try to find everything I can and link it below. And then the um, like shelving unit is from Ikea, and so are the buckets. Um, I love this thing because I can change out the toys and keep them organized pretty well. And then that bucket to the left is from... I think home goods. Um, I just have a bunch of like different size balls in there, but I am gonna go through all of those shelving units now to show you guys what I have in them. Okay, so in this first bucket right here, we have a bunch of blocks, and I got this whole thing of blocks from Goodwill for like two bucks, and just cleaned them really well before I gave them to him. A lot of his toys are like secondhand toys that we just got and cleaned really well. And yeah, he really likes to play with those. And then this bucket is his absolute favorite bucket right now. It has all of his cars and trucks and just like little trains. Um, he usually just like dumps this one out and plays with all of them. It's definitely the one that he's playing with the most right now. And yeah, up here we have his little like doctor kit. And this was a gift from a woman in our family that is a nurse, and he loves playing with this. I think his favorite thing right now is this little, like, shot um, toy. He'll, like, come up to me and pretend to give me a shot. And, yeah, he really likes that. Up here, we just have these little, like, um, ball things that kind of balance on top of each other. And then he, like, knocks them down and stuff. And... He enjoyed that more when he was a little bit smaller, but I still keep it out because he gets it out every once in a while. And then over here, we have this, like, play piano mat that we also got from Goodwill. And he hasn't played with this recently, but he used to love this thing. So I just keep it in here just in case. And then this next bin is full of more of the like baby toys. Like, um, I don't know, he used to play with these when he was like one, but he has a little nephew. I mean, I have a nephew, he has a cousin that is like 14 months. He turned one in May. So he still likes playing with these. They come over a lot and we play. And he always goes straight for this drawer, so I kind of keep that one in there for him. And then this next drawer just has these little, like, puppet animal, like, finger puppets. And some rubber duckies. And then this one has all of his Play-Doh. He loves Play-Doh right now. Um, and then this one next to it has, like, all of the toys that go with the Play-Doh. It's so, like the little squeezy thing and just, like, all the cutout stuff. And up here we have all of his coloring books and crayons. He likes playing with that, but I keep both of these up a little bit higher so that I can get them out for him because he like he doesn't reach up here as often. He can reach it, but he'll like go straight for these um, when he's like in here alone and then waits for me to get this stuff out if he wants to play with that. In the top drawer over here we have all of his puzzles. And I like to keep these up high, too, because he just makes such a mess with all of these. Um, so I like to kind of have a little bit of control over them and, like, when he's playing with them so that I can help him put them back because he can't quite, like, put them back perfectly yet. So all of his puzzles go up there. And then, like I said, this is the Play-Doh toys. This is his little... Um, like numbers thing this will like say out the letter the not numbers letters to him and it has shapes on there as well and this is a really good thing to take with us to like a restaurant or like on a road trip or something I feel like that entertains him for a while sometimes and then I have like a little flashlight in here and a Moana toy so I guess this is kind of just a random a random bin and then next we have our baby <laughs> We got this like two weeks ago since he's going to be a big brother in December and he loves like putting the little pacifier in his mouth and that's where he lives right now. 
And then over here we have all of his hats. He absolutely loves putting hats on. I don't know why, but he like always has a hat on when he's walking around the house. So we have all of his hats, some cowboy hats, this little like poker one. I don't know. He loves hats. And then next we have some more puzzles. Um, this is just one puzzle actually. It's his favorite puzzle from Melissa and Doug. It's the one that he's best at. Like he can put all the animals back in this one. And with these that are like kind of smaller puzzles, he's not quite as good. But yeah, this is the one that we've had the longest as well. So he's had the most practice with it. And he loves that one. Right now this bin is empty. I don't have anything there right now. And then down here we have all of his stuffed animals. Um, he doesn't really get them out a ton, but I did want to like keep them down here for when he wants to play with them. And then in this last drawer, we have his cash register, which my sister got him for his birthday this year, and he loves this little thing. So we keep it down here. So that is Charlie's Playroom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.